Antonio, it's always great to see you here in the offseason. Busy time of year, Chargers offseason move, free agency, March Madness. But you are here today on behalf of Boost Mobile, dunking people to benefit promises to kids. Can you explain, first of all, who you're here to dunk? Well, I'm here for a specific cause. Uh, actually, uh, the reality is that I've always uh, was genuine about, you know, helping our new generation, mm -hmm. about focusing on uh, making a difference in these kids' lives. And uh, what other way can you do it besides coming out and, and supporting things that's a very good cause and something like, you know, Boost Mobile promising the kids. So uh, I'm here to have fun, you know, to meet and greet people, meet and greet fans, and, and most importantly, to duck some of these people in this water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. And now promises to kids, and that, that's a foundation benefiting uh, the foster children in San Diego? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Uh, it's just something to help these kids out, uh, give them hope. I think uh, anytime uh, you can have an impact on these children's lives mm -hmm. and uh, do something, to keep these kids motivated is very important, and uh, that's what I'm here for. It's important for you to give back. I mean, you. when I look at the guys who are left in this Chargers team, I think it's you. <laughs> I think I think you might be one of the longest tenured members in this team, but how, how important is it for you to go ahead and give back to the community? Uh, it's very important. Uh, I was a, a product of an inner city kid uh, who didn't have much, and uh, I think the hope and continue to allow them to dream is the most important thing for these kids. And uh, I'm just here to you know, show them that uh, dreams can be, you know, come true. And uh, as long as you continue to work and, and believe in your dream, uh, anything you can accomplish. And in your situation, how important was sports in your life and being able to go ahead and achieve your dream and, 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 and become that person? Well, it was important. Uh, I, th I was the oldest of five. Uh, my dad uh, had a total of eight kids. And uh, I always said, if I couldn't motivate myself, uh, allow my sisters and brothers to motivate me, allow my family to motivate me. And that's what, something that I stuck with. Uh, when I wanted to give up at times, uh, my sisters and my brothers, I always was something that motivated me. So uh, I try to motivate these kids. You're here for Boost Mobile. Are, who are you going to be dunking exactly? Is it going to be reps and, and yeah, members of the media? Members and reps, uh, whoever wants to get in the water. Uh, you know, the more I, I can get people in the water, the better the situation would be. All right, if you could dunk anybody in this world, it, it could be a fellow teammate, it could be opposition, it could be coaches, media member, who would it be? Uh, A.J. Smith. <laughs> 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 Is that right? Uh, well, I, you know, anybody, uh, you know, anybody that you can dunk, uh, you know, uh, anybody that, that you can have fun with and, and enjoy it, but ultimately they're here for the, the same cause, uh, genuinely here for the same cause, and that's the most important thing for me. All right, you open the door now, talking about the Chargers quickly. You guys made a lot of, lot of moves in the offseason with Tom Telesco and Mike McCoy, but it includes letting some veterans go, Takeo Spikes, Randy McMichael, Antonio Garay. Uh, what, do you, what are your observations so far on the changes that have been made on this team? Uh, just quickly going in the right direction. Uh, mm -hmm. That's something that I, I want to see, and uh, I was very concerned with uh, whether or not we were going to try to do and make the right necessary steps to, you know, make a, make a, still make a run for the championship. And uh, we, we brought in some veteran guys who can play. And uh, I've seen the acquisition with Woodhead, the, the running back, and who can fit in the offensive system that we create uh, very well. So uh, to me, um, you know, bringing in those veteran guys and, and the tackles and the guards and guys that can protect Phillip and, and give us time uh, was something that I really paid close attention to because I wasn't sure whether or not we was going to try to rebuild from the start or we were still going to keep the core guys that we had and uh, still trying to make a run for the championship. So you, you mentioned tackles and guards and, and rebuilding. Do you think they're re, do you think they're rebuilding or do you think they're just adding bits and pieces? I mean, what do you think this is this is at this point? Uh, I think it's a combination of both. Uh, personally, I, I think you, you still have to get younger in this league. That's what this league is about. Uh, it's about this youth. But at the same time, if you got veteran guys that can still play at a high level and still help you win, uh, you need those kind of guys on your team. So uh, to see the changes and see guys, uh, and the first time since I've been here, to, to see all these off-season acquisitions, uh, it's pretty uh, exciting for me to come back and try to you know, win the championship. Okay, you cannot replace Darren Sproles. It's not possible, but do you think Danny Woodhead gives you the type of threat uh, as a receiver and in the running game that you haven't had since Darren Sproles? I think it's some similarities, but uh, you know, obviously, Darren Sproles is one of a kind. Uh, you you don't never want to uh, compare no one to him. But I think Woodhead brings that same type of mentality. A guy who understands he was in the Patriots' offense, who understands what it's like to be with a quarterback that can make the throws and, and make the right reads, uh, and then run after the catch. Uh, that's something that I noticed about him when I watched him play. Uh, he can definitely run after the catch and and uh, give us a you know an added dimension to our offense, uh, which we can definitely use. All right, before I ask you about your final four picks, because of course of your hoops background, you know the same question I've asked a couple of your teammates, a guy like Philip Rivers and Nick Hardwick, about the possibility of Jared Gaither returning to this team. 
when you, he is he a guy with the, with with what went on last season? Is he a guy that can fit into this locker room again? That that needs mm -hmm. to prove himself. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, you know, obviously he has to want to be here, and I uh, think thinks that's the number one key. Uh, he's ton, uh, a talented, talented offensive tackle, a guy with a, a tremendous upside. But uh, as I, you know, as everybody know, a potential only gets you so far. Uh, it doesn't get it done in this league. So uh, if he wants to be here, uh, we'll definitely welcome him with open arms. Uh, but that's some a decision he has to make for himself, and uh, he has to mean it. He has to go out and prove that he wants to be a part of this team. He has to do the things which we believe that uh, and trust that he, you know, he wants to be here. That which is practicing. Uh, being in off season, you know, OTAs, being a part of it, and I think ultimately just that commitment, so we can feel like he's committed to this program and this team. Okay, most fans here know your background um, as a hoops player at Kent State. Now, I'm sorry we don't have them. I don't have them in my brackets this year. Who do you have in your Final Four as as, we, as March Madness tips off? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> you know, I I I have Louisville uh, definitely in my Final Four. Okay. I have uh, Syracuse. Uh, uh, you know, I got to, you know, Michigan has been playing really well, but they, uh, between Michigan and Indiana, uh, I'm a Michigan guy, so I can't, you know, I don't want to take Indiana over Michigan, but I think Indiana uh, ultimately uh, is the, probably the most exciting team, most talented team, uh, well coached team. And um, if they can put together, you know, two halves every single game, I just don't see no other team matching up with their ability, with their leadership, and, and most importantly, what I noticed about the when it, tournament time is your experience. Mm -hmm. uh, Indiana has veteran guys on that team, so ultimately that'll play a big factor in the final four. Are you still the best player on the Chargers, best hoops player on the Chargers? Because I've heard John Bagano can give you a run for your money. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to think so, you know, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. That's who I probably would love to dunk today, is John Pagano. <laughs> All right, well, thank you.